Hi everyone, Giuliano here. Did you know that you can use Viva Connections as a company communicator? In these days, Microsoft is rolling out a new capability which brings the possibility to any organization to push through the Teams mobile app and through the Viva Connections dashboard important announcement. Nowadays, companies need to push important and critical announcement to all employees worldwide. This new capability offers the ability to create an announcement or to schedule this announcement to showing it up in the Viva Connections dashboard at a specific time. Let me show you every step how you can create an announcement, how you can push this announcement in the Viva Connection dashboard. Let's go. Here I am on my Android device. First off, I'm going to show you the user experience through the mobile app of Microsoft Teams with announcements in Viva Connections. I'm going to drop down now the notification bar and as you can see on top, I have a push notification coming from announcements of Viva Connections. There is a new announcement and I can see here the description with the title. The title is just down below new partnership and in the description I can see we are thrilled to announce a new partnership with XXX. This is what you get. If I tap not now on this notification, we can directly open Viva Connections in the Teams mobile app. And here I have a panel with the ability to dismiss this announcement or get more info by clicking on this link here. This is the user experience of announcement. When I tap on the link, I have access to this super nice and cool YouTube channel. Now let me go back and let me reopen Microsoft Teams. Now if I close this announcement, I can see that in on top I have this rail with the ability to move across every element of this notification area. So here I have the first announcement, new partnership, then I have employee survey and then XXX. If I tap on one of them, I can get access to the specific announcement. Here I can click again on the link, start here to fill out the employee survey if I want. I have this button to dismiss, which will allow me to remove the announcement from this rail. As you can see, I have now two instead of three like before, because there is the option for the end user to dismiss an announcement. So you can get rid on specific announcement sometimes. Otherwise, other time it's not possible to have this dismiss button, but the announcement stay always on top. This is for critical announcement, for example, as use case. But this is the user experience in the mobile app of Microsoft Teams, more specific in the dashboard of Viva Connections. Now, let me show you in the desktop version of Microsoft Teams and I'm going to show you even how you can create an announcement. Let's go. And here I am on my desktop. I have Microsoft Teams open and I'm going to open now Viva Connections, which is available at the first position in the rail menu. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I made a previous video talking about how to set up Viva Connections in your organization. Now that I have Viva Connections open, where I can read my announcement. In the upper right corner, through the ellipsis button, the ellipsis icon, you can see and find announcements. Clicking here on this link, now I have access to the list of all announcements so I can see all active announcement and expired announcement. Now let me open SharePoint, I have here a browser instance open. This is my home site with Viva Connections on the right, the same experience that we have seen in the Microsoft Teams app. Now to create a new announcement, how I can do it? So I have to click on the new button and you will find a new option here available called announcement. Before to do it, I want to show you something. If you go in the ellipsis icon and if you click on it and then on site contents 
you will find a new list called Announcements. This is created by Microsoft, of course, and when the rollout is completed, you will find this new document library in your home site. Now let's go in the home page and let's start to create a new announcement. If I click on the new button and then announcement, I have now this panel opening on the right. So first off, let me clarify that you will be able to set a color for every announcement and you can set even an icon. This is not included in this user experience. I assume that the rollout is not completed on my tenant or maybe there will be another release that will offer this possibility. Now, first off, I need to add a title here and I can say something. HR system planet maintenance. Let me go forward with the message. All right, I added my message and now in order to go forward, this uh, field is required. Audiences to target, you need to target people or groups. So imagine that you want to target the HR department or the communication department or the IT department or all three. Now to do that, you need to specify the group. I created in a specific group, everyone except external members. So I'm going to target all employees in my organization. So this group, it doesn't exist out of the box. I'll show you in the end of this video how you can create such group. This is a dynamic group. It means that I specified a rule for this group. Every user which is not a guest, it has to be included in this group. Now, you can add other groups if you want, but I'm targeting everybody in the company. It makes no sense adding other groups, but you got it. So you can target departments or small groups or teams or specific uh, people. If you want, you can set a schedule. Let me turn on for a moment this option. And here, for example, I can define that I want to make it available, this announcement, next Friday and I can specify the specific time. This is important to know that if you don't find the, the right timing, you can edit. So you can add two points and then whatever other time you prefer. Let me turn off now the scheduling and let me go with the end date and time. So every announcement has a termination date. So you can specify, in this case, in uh, I'm going to specify 13 October. This is the time, it's fine. In more option, if you want, you can add a link with the description. Okay, I had this information, just a link and a text for my link. Now here you have this additional and last option, allow users to dismiss. When the user dismiss the announcement, this will be no longer visible in the upper portion of the dashboard of Viva Connections. So it makes sense if you have a critical announcement to turn off this, in this case, the reminder it's always visible until the end date is reached. And now I'm going to click on the next button. You can save this as a draft if you want to edit later, or you can just click on the button, send announcement. Now this new announcement is published. I can click on view all announcement, and now I get access to the document library. I can see all announcement that I generated, and I have the, the one that I just I just added and created HR system planet maintenance. Now I can find this information directly in Microsoft Teams. So if I open Microsoft Teams, I have the ability to jump to my app. Let me open Viva Connections. This is my Viva Connections, Viva Connections. experience. I can also um, view the homepage, the classic homepage of my of my Viva connection, of my SharePoint site. And then here I can click on the three dots and I have the visibility of announcement directly here. Let me open now the 
mobile device so i'll show you how it looks like this last announcement just created here i am again on my android device let me open microsoft teams and in the viva connections dashboard i can see the new announcement hr system planet maintenance i can tap on it i don't have the dismiss option i can close this panel but this is still and always visible in this rail menu i am now in the portal.azure.com i'm going to show you how you can create now a new dynamic group in the azure active directory which is now called microsoft entra id so let's imagine that you want to create a dynamic group for a department or just like in my case one dynamic group which will contain all organization employees without external partners or guests. So to do that, you have to go on all groups. You can create a new group and then specify that this will be a dynamic group. Now, let me call the one that I created, which is this one, everyone except external. If I click on this one, we can see that this is the membership type is dynamic and there is a rule for this for this group now you can go on dynamic membership rules to see the rule and i specified here this query so for all users which have the user type not equal to guest drag this user in this group and this is extremely useful also to cover this scenario with announcements in viva connections all right we have seen how to use Viva Connections as a company communicator. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please consider to subscribe, like, add a comment down below. Let me know what do you think about Viva Connections. I hope to see you next time. Bye.